I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. This is where I share my experiences using cruelty-free skincare and makeup on mature skin. Today's video is an empties video. My first video was an empties where I went through my skincare empties and used those to tell you about the journey I had been on to find the right skincare routine for me. Today, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. I'm going to share my makeup, hair care, and body care empties. Let's get started. I'm going to start with a category that I have by far the most of, and that's mascaras. To start off, I'm going to tell you about some of the mascaras that aren't actually empties. They're going to go in the trash because I did not like them at all. First up is Pacifica Aquarian Gaze. This is a waterproof mascara, and it is waterproof, and that's the only good thing I've got to say about it. It didn't do anything at all for my lashes. It didn't give any length, volume, didn't, didn't even hold the curl, which is one thing that most waterproof mascaras do at least. It didn't do anything at all. It's going in the trash. Next up, Honest Beauty. This mascara actually has a primer on one end and the mascara on the other. And if I worked really hard and babied it and spent a lot of time on it, I could make this one look okay. But I don't have the time or the patience for that. It's going in the trash. Next up, this one was a big disappointment to me. This is the Essence Lash Princess. And I had high hopes for this one because I've heard so many people say they love this mascara. But for me, I just found it wet and cloppy and it just stuck my lashes together like three thick lashes. <laughs> then it smudged and I hated it going in the trash. Next up, this is a mascara that I actually enjoyed using. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. And this is a good mascara. It gave me pretty lashes. It gave me length, volume, held the curl, didn't smudge or flake. It's a good mascara. I was pleased with it. I may repurchase this one. I'm still on the hunt for something that can do all these things and give me some drama in my lashes, but I like this one. Good job, CoverGirl. Next up is a mascara that I have a love-hate relationship with. This is the Kush Milk Mascara. I love the way this mascara makes my lashes look. It gives me the best lashes I've ever had. It gives me long, thick, curled, black, beautiful lashes that doesn't even look like my lashes. It's a great mascara until about an hour after I put it on. And then I have black flakes all under my eyes. And I tried everything. I struggled all the way through the entire tube of this mascara. I did use it up. And I could not get it to not flake. It just always did. Broke my heart. So after that experience, I decided to go on a hunt for the right mascara for me. And what I did was I went to Sephora and I ordered a bunch of minis. I'm going to do a, a full video on my mascara, my mascara struggles here in the future. So for now, I'm just going to run through these quickly and tell you what I did or didn't like about each one. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Made my lashes beautiful, flaked everywhere. This is the Super Fan Mascara by Smashbox. Did what it says it does it fans out your lashes it gives holds the curl gives good definition but doesn't do much as far as volume or length or anything like that this is the urban decay perversion mascara this is a pretty mascara it was a little wet for my liking um it did give definition and length not much volume not much drama i actually have two of this one this is the It Cosmetics Superhero. One of these I bought when I bought the Sephora minis. This one um, I got as a birthday gift from Ulta last year. So, and I like this mascara. This is a good mascara. Um, nice length, nice, nice volume, doesn't flake. Mm, not much drama. This is the Marc Jacobs 
Velvet Noir. This is a good mascara. It does, it's interesting. It gives um, fluffy, fringy lashes. It tends to want to clump sometimes. It doesn't give much volume. Uh, I liked it. It wasn't great, but it's pretty good mascara. Now, this one I really did enjoy. This is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This one and the CoverGirl Exhibitionist are probably my two favorites that I've tried recently. This one gives length and volume, holds your curl, doesn't flake or smudge. Not a lot of drama and it's hard to take off. So I'm still on the search for my dream mascara, but that's what I've tried recently. That's my empties of it. Next up in makeup, I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is a good eyeshadow primer. It was um, a little sample I got and I did, I, it lasted quite a while. It a little bit goes a long way. I have no complaints about it, except that I have found drugstore eyeshadow primers that I like just as well that cost a whole lot less. So I won't be rebuying this, but nothing wrong with it. This is a little well-loved Urban Decay 24 seven eyeliner pencil. This is in the color Mainline, which is my favorite color of the Urban Decay eyeliner pencils. It's a deep matte blue-green teal color that I wear a lot along my lower lash line. I like to put a color on my lower lash line and then um, a neutral eyelid, and this is great for that. I wear it quite often. I've got another one I'm using right now, and I've got a backup of that color. Got quite a few other of the Urban Decay 24 sevens, um, but this is this is my favorite one. Here I've got an empty of the Elf makeup wipes. These were fine. The price was price was right. Um, the quality was fine, but I'm not going to be buying any more makeup wipes. I don't see any sense in the expense or the packaging waste um, when all I do is use them to wipe away fallout. Um, I, I use my cleansers to actually take off my makeup. Nothing wrong with them, but I won't be repurchasing them. Let's move on to hair care. I have very baby fine hair that's straight with no body. It's also color treated and um, I have an oily scalp. So I have um, some issues going on with finding that balance of hair care product that will um, clean my scalp and not dry out my hair and not weigh it down. I've been very happy with the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. These products I've been using for quite a while now, over a year and I, I, I alternate them with some other products, which I'll get into maybe in a later video, but these, these are great. These do really well for my hair. They clean my scalp and my hair, but they don't weigh my hair down at all. They don't strip it. They don't, um, they leave it shiny and soft, and I've just been very pleased with them. I also use the Verb Ghost Oil after I wash my hair. I'll put this in, and it just, um, Gives my hair a, a sleek, shiny, smooth look, no frizz, and really enjoy those products. I have an empty of Away Texturizing Hairspray. This product did nothing for my hair, and it seemed like the bottle was empty in no time. It smelled great, but it didn't give any hold, didn't add any volume, didn't do anything for my hair. I bought this as a set along with the Way hair oil, which I do love and I am still using, and I do think it's worth the price because it goes a long, long way. But this, this I would not repurchase. This didn't do anything for my hair. This is the little sample size of the Moroccan oil heat protectant. And this is a great little product. I really love it. It smells so good and protected my hair, made me feel like my hair was, was ready for, um, for drying and styling. I haven't repurchased it because I am using another heat protectant right now, but I might repurchase this in the future. It's, it's a great little product. Let's move on to body care. 
I'm going to start out with Neutrogena Body Oil. This is a channel where I share my cruelty-free skincare and makeup experiences. And Neutrogena is not cruelty-free, but I wanted to tell you about it because I think so many people choose not to switch to cruelty-free products because they're afraid they're not going to be able to find a replacement for their favorite products. And I understand that. I had that same experience. When I first made the switch over, I was happy with my replacements in pretty much every category, but there were a couple of things that I couldn't find replacements for right away. It took some time. And one of those was my body oil. I like to put just a couple of drops in my lotion after my shower and just it gives my skin a silky soft smooth glow that i really enjoy on my skin but i don't like a heavy oil i can't stand the heavy greasy feel it's got to be a very lightweight oil and that's what this one was and i used it for a long time this bottle when i say this lasted me for years it lasted me for years just just a few drops in my lotion and that went a long way that's a huge bottle and it did take me a while to find a replacement for it i did find a replacement though and i have an empty of that here this is the jordan samuel body oil now i'm sure you're not surprised that jordan's name has come up in one of my videos it always does but this body oil it um it's wonderful. It's a great product. I use it the same way that I used this one. Just a couple of drops in my lotion. This one has the most wonderful scent. Mm, it's a lemony, just a fresh lemony, lemony scent. I've never been to Italy. Jordan says the scent is based on his time spent in Italy. I believe him. It smells wonderful. Um, I highly recommend it. Just a couple of drops in my lotion and my skin is just soft and glowy. Just everything I want from a body oil. And it's lightweight, not at all heavy, greasy, ever. So really, really like it. This is the current lotion that I'm using. It's the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. I've gone through quite a few of these. I really enjoy it. It smells good. It feels good. It leaves my skin feeling silky and moisturized, but not greasy or heavy. It um, mixes well with my body oil. I do go through it pretty quickly, but the price is right. It's like five bucks at Trader Joe's. So I don't mind having to replace it pretty often. And I don't mind slathering it on and don't feel like I have to go easy with it because of the price. So that's another plus. I have um, another Trader Joe's empty. This is the Lavender Salt Scrub. I enjoyed this. This lasted me a really long time because I don't use salt scrubs in my shower very often. I did like that one. It was nice. Um, during the winter especially, I used it on occasion if I felt like my skin was getting dry or itchy or needed some extra boost of moisture but i um probably won't repurchase it at least not until maybe the fall because i'm just not really a, a scrub user in the shower finally the last of my empties today this is my kapari deodorant i love this stuff i was this is going to be another video for another time but i had quite a struggle finding a natural deodorant that I could use that I love that did well on me and worked. This is wonderful. It glides right on. It's silky. It doesn't irritate my underarms. It works. I do have to reapply it if I'm doing anything strenuous. I'll have to put an extra um, extra um, layer on, but it's it smells so good. It feels so good and it works and it doesn't irritate my underarms. So all of those things, plus, plus it's nice, natural, healthy ingredients that I don't have to feel bad about putting under my arms. Love it. Love it, love it. So that is it.
that's my empties. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.